Hi, how you doing? Yeah, well, today I'm going to talk about education and intelligence. And first, I want to say uh, I don't watch TV. I really don't. I don't have cable or anything. I have uh, the little box that I can see. You know, you can turn on the TV and you can see different channels. I forgot the name of that damn box. But I don't have cable. I don't even have internet now. I don't. I don't. I don't need it. I, I use my phone with the data. But what I'm getting to is, uh, I turned on. You know, I, I turned on the news to see what the weather is. Okay, it's 76 degrees right now. Anyway, so I said, let me see what they're talking about. How, how you doing? So they 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 were talking about the airports. How you got to get screened. You got to get tested with that uh, temperature gauge on your head all kinds of stuff you got to wear a mask to get on the plane you can't get on the plane if you don't wear a mask and a whole lot of of that other social distance distance and um, stuff so it started to bug me out I swear to God it started to bug me out I couldn't watch it I couldn't watch it it really started to mess with my head because I know it's all it's all crap this is by design they want this is what they actually had planned. Well, this is one of the things that they actually had planned from the beginning to change everything around the laws and all kinds of way we live and everything. All right, so uh, yeah, well, I don't watch TV because I don't get anything from it. And uh, the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to talk about when I was going to school, and this is the God's honest truth. I swear, my mother's dead. I swear to God. I, uh, when I got to the 10th grade, let me see, 10, 11, 12, yeah. I got to the 10th grade, I went to Alexander Hamilton. I studied architecture and mechanical drafting. I liked that. Uh, I liked aer aeronautical drafting, but I didn't go to uh, aviation. Too much problems trying to get into that school. Anyway, so anyway, so I felt like there was no need. I mean, I'm not telling people school is bad. School is good, but this, this, this is my state. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Yeah. So, but this is what happened in my life. Yeah. So I was in the 10th grade, and it was like, what the hell am I doing here? Okay. It's just every, 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 every year, every year from since I was uh, little, they're telling me stuff and not showing me how to use my own head. So I, at 11th grade, after I graduated from the 10th to 11th grade, I went to homeschool, I mean homeroom, and I checked in. I never went back until the regents test. But <laughs> I used to hang out in the streets. I, as long as it got true, I used to hang out in the streets. I didn't go to school from 11th grade and uh, the 12th grade. I did not go to school. I went to homeroom. I went to school, and I checked in at homeroom. I'm here, and then I left. <laughs> but this is the kicker. When I got home, I used to read the books. I studied the books, my architectural, my drafting books. I studied my English and all that, okay? Uh, and the regents test came, and we had, uh, I, I knew the regents test was coming up. And then when I took the regents test, I passed. <laughs> and a lot of people that was going to school, they failed. You know, what? what's his name? That's the English teacher, I forgot the other teacher's name. But they all said the similar thing. They said, how the hell you get an 85? You never came to class, but you got an 85. I got a 100 on my mechanical drafting uh, course. I had to make a ball-peen hammer. But I knew how to, I studied. I knew how to use the lathe and everything. I, I read my books when I got home. I, I, I like to learn stuff. And I'll get around to the point of what I'm saying. I like to learn stuff. Yeah, but I passed. And the teacher said, you never came to class, but I got to give you a 70 because you passed the test. <laughs> a lot of people that was coming here didn't pass. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, most of the teachers said that. Even the, the mechanical drafting, Mr. Sullivan, that's his name. Yeah, the mechanical drafting teacher said, can I keep your hammer? I said, no. <laughs> I still got it in the van, but I, I don't feel like looking for it. Yeah, I made, a, I made everything in proportion and everything on a lathe, and I never touched the lathe, but I knew what to do. Okay, now the point that I'm getting to, and now I'm not saying people don't go to school. Go to school, whatever, you know, learn whatever they're telling you. The point that I'm getting to is intelligence and education. Now, that's, that's all they was teaching me. They're not teaching me nothing else, okay? 
They're not teaching me how to be nice to people, how to uh, interact with people, you know, socialize and all that. You know, well, they, they have courses, but you got to be in the course. The whole thing I'm getting down to is that, and I don't watch TV anymore. I don't. Because I, don't, I can't learn nothing from that. Oh, and let me tell you this other thing. I, I have a van. I took it to the mechanic one time. And I paid sixty dollars, and and he fixed he fixed the van. I was happy. I paid the sixty dollars, but my brother he's a mechanic, but he lives in Maryland. And he when he came up, he said, uh, "What was wrong?" I said, "Well, that's my sixty nine dollars. I had a sixty nine dollars." He said, uh, what, "What was wrong with the van?" I said, "It was backfiring." So I took it to the mechanic. And uh, he fixed it. He said he put it on all of this machine and he tested it, all kinds of stuff. So my brother, well, he's a mechanic, so he opened the, the hood for the engine. The engine was on the inside. And he said, oh. And then he took off the distributor cap and he loosened the nut. It's on the points. And he said, start the motor. I started the motor. It was backfiring. Bam, bam. <laughs> and then he, I turned it off and then he tighten the nut that's to hold the point so it goes like this every time it sends a spark to the distributor I mean to the spark plugs it's a nut a hexagon nut and so every time the nut turns it it, it touches and it sends a spark so and then he tightened the nut back and he said that's what the guy did he just tightened the nut and he charged you sixty dollars he said learn how to do things on your own you know because if you don't know they're gonna charge a lot of money so that's what I, I started doing that's when I was 25 I just started to learn stuff. I, I don't mind learning stuff. Now, my point is, okay, for those who don't watch TV anymore, don't just stop there. Start learning stuff. I go to YouTube, even though YouTube, well, they have stuff on there that you can learn, okay? Um, like mechanic. People call me mechanic. I'm not a mechanic <laughs> on, on the block. They say, hey, mechanic. I say, I'm not a mechanic. So how you fix your car? I say, I, I read. I study stuff. Yeah, but what I'm getting to is st start studying things, you know. Or I'm not talking about the globe and evolution, all that crap. Stuff that you could, that that's in our reality, that's right now you could put your hands on. Uh, even ladies, study how to how your car works. Uh, just to learn. They might come in handy one day. I know a person on the block, they don't know how to change a tire. <laughs> He jacked the car up, and then he tried to take the tire off. I said, yo, you're going to be there forever. That tire is not because the wheel kept spinning. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the tire is up in the air, so every time he tried to turn, the damn thing, the whole wheel turned. I said, yo, put the car back on the floor and then loosen the nuts. And then jack it up and then take the tire off. <laughs> so he said, oh, I didn't know that. I said, wow, this guy don't know how to change a tire? But I'm not putting him down, but the thing is, a lot of things the elites want you to count on them or count on their facilities and you go and pay for it when a lot of things you can do on your own just by studying studying it it's nothing wrong with going and learn even if it's, it's, it's hey, you look know, i know a guy he, he's not a doctor he studies operations he just likes to study that I, I, uh, maybe he, if something happened he was out there in the wilderness and one of his friends got cut he could fix him <laughs> you know that's how i look at it uh, the main thing is to to study because they they just giving us crap on tv i couldn't look at the news i couldn't look at it it started to irk me oh that's when i'm gonna speak about something else too it started to irk me wow how, what kind of crap are they doing it's like we sheep and they hurting us this way and that way why you know because they want to control right? And the worst kind of people that they could be is somebody that wants to control somebody else. So those people are no good. The elites are no good. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is start learning. Try to learn something, anything that's in your reality. You know, if it's um, how, like, like you're putting down towels. You learn how to put down towels. Maybe one day you want to put down towels in your house. It's very simple. I've been putting down towels since I was seven years old. I had to. We owned a house, and my father was teaching us. He was that type of guy. He was a carpenter, and, uh, and you know, you had to learn the ruler. You had to learn all kinds of things. Yeah, the thing is to learn something. You know, you don't just sit around the house sitting down. You ain't doing nothing. There's a lot of things on YouTube, like, say, uh, sewing. I know how to sew. 
which but I'm talking about I know how to sew grid. I know how to put the buttons in the coat with the little hammer, you hit it. I know how to do that. Because I, I just said, let me see how they do this. I, how the hell they get the buttons on, those snap buttons? And I know how to do that. I got the kit upstairs. I ordered the kit. So when, if, if a button never come, a snap button never come off my shirt, I know how to make the hole. You take the little hammer, and I have the grip, the, the pliers. It's the pliers that press down on the button, and it seals it in. That way you can snap it, because one of my buttons came off, off my coat. And I like that coat, so I wanted to keep it. So that's why I went and studied that. But I said, I'm not taking it to the, the store. That probably cost $20. The kit cost me $5. <laughs> and it came with all the buttons and everything. Uh, well, that's, that's the point of what I'm talking about. Learn stuff. I don't care how old you are. You're never too old to learn. You see, the elites got our minds at a standstill. You know, as far as, okay, you're educated. Get out of here. But when something else applies to your life, you can't do it because <laughs> you didn't learn it. So that's what I'm saying. Try to learn different things. Just don't, okay, I don't watch TV no more. Well, you're not learning nothing from TV. They're still talking about Bigfoot is real. <laughs> National Geographic. Yeah. Anything that you feel you don't know, try to know it. It might come in handy one day. And just to know, I just like to know stuff. Uh, that's just how I am. You know, there's a difference between being intelligent and being educated. Educated means you could check all the boxes. This is right, this is right. Intelligence means you make up the solution in your head. Uh, and that's the point of, I, I wanted to say some more things. I, it's hot and muggy. I'm just, I was supposed to do some work on my car today. I had to give it a tune-up, but I'm not doing that. It's too hot. I'll leave it till a rainy day. The motor's on the inside. I can do that. But you understand my point? Try to learn things, you know. And don't get frustrated. That's bad for your health. Don't get frustrated. Just like the news was, was actually upsetting me. <laughs> All the things they were talking about, you know, as far as this mask and you can't get on the plane. Nah, it's bad enough now they got the real ID. You can't get on the plane unless you wear a mask. I ain't fine. I, I, I like planes, but I, I, I don't have no need to get on it. God gave us this earth for free. And now you got to pay to roam, move around on it. That's not fair. You know, the more you know, the more power you have. When I say the more you know, the things that you could learn on your own. I didn't, like, I, I, I'll never tell anyone not to go to school, but that was just my thing. I, said, I, I went homeroom, and I, I signed my name, I'm here, and then I left. <laughs> I was playing handball. I was riding my bike. Well, that wasn't my bike. That was uh, my friend Dennis' bike. He had two bikes. I couldn't go home and get my bike. But, yeah, we was out there doing stuff. But when I got home, I, I read my books. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but I got the highest mark in my machine shop class. And I never entered that room until it was time to take the research test. And I looked at the design. There's a ball peen hammer I had to make. You had to make a knurl. You had to know how to do chamfers and uh, you know, a, lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. You had to know how to cut. You had to put the die and then you had to know how to cut the shape of the ball peen hammer and all that. And I passed. Everybody else ball peen hammer was out of proportion, not with the measurements. And I passed that class with a 70. The teacher said, I got to, you, you never came here, but I got to give you a 70 because everybody else, <laughs> their hammers are out of, out of proportion. This is high school. The hammers are out of proportion. They, you know, either too big and too small at the end. The knurl wasn't right. The, the knurl is what you hold on to. It, it's like uh, indents. Uh, it's a little round thing that makes uh, indents in the steel. But the whole thing is learn stuff. You know, learn things that apply to actual life. Uh, and, and, and you start feeling better about yourself. I, I can guarantee you, you start because you know stuff. You know, like if your car breaks down, even for women, women, you, you don't have to say, okay, I can fix it. But when you take it to the mechanic, you can tell him, I think this is the problem. And let him know you got smarts. That way he ain't going to cheat you. <laughs> You know, go and check to see how much, what he's going to do. You can check that online. 
what he's going to do is actually supposed to cost because some mechanics they'll charge you like a hundred dollars extra if you don't know and they do that to women a lot they do that to women a lot uh so okay you, you got my point uh i hope i made sense don't don't just sit around okay no tv which was not good for you anyway but there's other things that you could just go and just read about you know how how, how to uh all right how to how to how to gauge your spark plugs for the guys on the car even the ladies if you if you feel like doing that how, how to even paint some people don't know how to paint you know people ask me you know how to paint as a year <laughs> you know there's a lot of things that people simple things that people pay other people hundreds of dollars for for them to do and they can do it themselves all they got to do is go study it you can do it now, i've been doing it for years you know they, look at that people call me a mechanic because when they see me in my car you know i'm fixing something i just fixed the i put some uh jb weld i had a hole in my my pipe and it was making a lot of noise i put jb weld the 700 degree jb weld paste and i wrapped it around with with that 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 fiberglass wrap that they have not a muffler doesn't make any noise but if i would have took it to the mechanic that's three hundred dollars right there <laughs> and what i did it could last for the lifetime of the car if it breaks if 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 the if, the, if what i put on there breaks i'll just wrap it up again but i would use uh uh, furnace cement because that goes up to 2,000 degrees and it wouldn't affect it at all but even welding you know I can weld uh, you know it's, it's not that hard you know I have a welding machine upstairs I was gonna fix my van I have you know it's been eating away at the side I was gonna fix it then I started seeing other people buying cars and then next day they come out they got a scratch on it I said no I ain't fixing this I just make sure the motor runs <laughs> you know that's all I'm worried about is the motor run running but okay well you got my point you know start trying to learn stuff anything that you you think might be interesting sit down and just they got a lot of stuff on YouTube they have a lot of stuff you can google that that's actually true I'm not talking about like the globe <laughs> you don't worry about learning the globe learn how to do stuff anything that pops into your head wow, I don't know how to do that let me go read up on it or watch a video on it there's lots of videos on how to do things Okay, well, uh, I was going on for a while, but that's that's the point of what I was uh, of this video. Don't just sit around thinking that you know what needs to be done. If you have like uh, washers, learn how to change a washer in your sink. The landlord loves me <laughs> because I, I, I the only thing I asked him was to send the guys to fix the air conditioner because that's not my air conditioner, so I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with it. Even I do my own air conditioner in the car. I have my I, I know how to evacuate the system, and then put the freon back in. I did that last year. Uh, I know how to look for leaks. Uh, it's a uh, it's a whole lot of things we can do, but we don't apply our minds. Just don't sit home and just say, "Oh, well, another day." Sit home and learn something. While the day's going by, you see it's hot. I'm sweating. All right, well, I hope you get something out of that. And uh, a lot of people, if you don't see I respond to your comments, that means I can't open it. I don't I don't know what YouTube is doing. Sometimes I click on the comment where it shows where I got come, and nothing, it's not on my uh, video. But I always try to leave a message saying, oh, I, I, saw, I saw your comment, but I can't open it. And uh, I'll just say I agree with you or something like that. Okay, everybody. I just made that short video. The, the point is to learn learn stuff you know learn stuff on your own things that you, you're not taught things that you have to pay people for learn how, how the safety of what you're going to do learn the safety rules and then go and do it you know there's because you have to apply safety to what you do you might be doing something and uh, you might have to say like you know when I jack my car you always you don't depend on the jack you always put a jack stand under there that's going to hold the car, and then you let the jack down, but I still keep the jack as an extra support. You always put a jack stand under the car. See, that stuff I just learned, I didn't think about that. You're under, under the car, and then you, you're counting on that jack, and it, it releases. It's coming down on you. That's why you put a jack stand. Uh, let me see if I... Hold on one second. Ah. Uh, let's see.
This is called a jack stand. You put that under your car, put it on, you, you, you lift it up, and, and you let the car come back down on it. And that's gonna hold your car secure. That way you don't have a problem. That's a, that's, that's a safety feature that mechanics do. A lot of people don't know that. All right, well, I talked enough. Learn stuff. Things that you think you might not be interested in, it is very interesting. Because they're not going to teach you that. You got to go to college to learn stuff like that. Uh, so why pay for it when you can read up on it yourself and learn? It doesn't matter how old you are. There goes my name. How you doing, Mr. Abdullah? Okay. Yeah. Why pay for it? And you could just read a book uh, about it or find a video. And you're going to learn it. If you don't understand what you read, you don't understand what you saw, look at it again. Eventually, something's going to click. Oh, that's what he means. Or they mean. All right, y'all. I talked enough. Just felt like making a video uh, about learning stuff on your own. Doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Get into the habit of learning stuff that you're not being taught in school. And, and learn how to stay calm about things. Like I said, the news was upsetting me. But I just turned it off and I relaxed. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was getting upset. I said, this is bull crap. What the hell is this? This is all a damn control system. Just learn stuff. It's, it's, it'll come in handy. Okay. Y'all have a nice day.